اهلا بكم اعزائي مره اخرى واليوم مع بعضنا البعض حنتقابل مع كلمه الله ومع ضيفه مميزه جدا هي الاخت كي ارثر اخت كي ممكن اقرا على مسامعك بعض الاعداد من يعقوب ونبتدي نشرحها مع بعض يعقوب عبد الله والرب يسوع المسيح يهدي السلام الى الاثني عشر سبطا الذين في الشتات حسبوه كل فرح يا اخوتي حينما تقعون في تجارب متنوعه عالمين ان امتحان ايمانكم ينشئ صبرا واما الصبر فليكن له عمل تام لكي تكونوا تامين وكاملين غير ناقصين في شيء والان الميكروفون معك First of all I want to say to you that it is um, an awesome awesome privilege to be doing these programs with you and to be able to talk to you You know, this is a very, very precious, precious passage. Because if we know Jesus Christ, we are going to go through trials. Trials are designed to make us like Jesus. He says, consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials. Do you know Paul wrote to Timothy and he said, all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That's a trial. He tells us in Philippians, when Paul writes to the church at Philippi, he says, it's given unto you not only to believe on Jesus Christ, but also to suffer for his name's sake. Jesus told the disciples when he was with them in John chapter 15, he said to them, the world's going to hate you. The world hated me and the world's going to hate you. So you and I can expect trials. Now that trial is not just suffering and pain for us, but God, because he's God, takes that trial and uses it to mold you and to shape you into the very beautiful image of his son. No trial can come into your life unless it's filtered through God's fingers of love. This is the hand of God. John 10, Jesus says, I have you in my hand. So my ring, which is a pearl of great price, represents you in the hand of God. God loves you. God is love. So everything that comes into our lives is filtered through fingers of love. So as James sits down to write these brethren, brethren that are suffering, brethren that you will see in verse 13 that are being tempted in this suffering, tempted to walk away, tempted to say it's too much, I can't handle it, I don't want it, I, you can't expect this of me. So he starts this epistle, which is going to talk to you about a genuine faith, a real faith, a faith that shows, a faith that shows in the trials, a faith that shows in the treatment of, of one another. So he starts this letter to say, I want you to consider it all joy. When you encounter any trial, the first thing I want is I want you to stop and I want you to be joyous. You say, that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Why would I be joyous when I find out that my husband has a disease? Why would I be joyous when I find out that my son had a stroke? Why would I be joyous when my daughter in love, my daughter in law, uh, 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 dies suddenly? Why would I be joyous when my first husband commits suicide? He says, I want you to count it all joy when you encounter various trials, knowing there's something that I want you to know. I want you to know that this trial that you're in, I filtered through fingers of love. And it's a test of your faith. And when your faith is tested, it's going to produce endurance. Endurance means that you're going to be able to handle it. Endurance means you're not going to go away. Endurance mo means you're not going to say, no more, no more. That's the end. Whoa. Endurance means perseverance. It means hanging in there. It means not letting it go. رائع وأنا أريد أن نكمل أيضا غدا بنعمة الرب في هذا التأمل لأنه مهم جدا أمين
Amen.